In Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, there are various useful items you can use to heighten your party to the next level, and Alcat Games have massively improved the itemization of their games since Kingmaker in order to create replayability and better class variety for players to use through multiple playthroughs. My favorite CRPG so far for itemization has been Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire, where almost every magical item had two or uh, two or three differing leveling paths you could choose from that branched out and would change their stats and mechanics entirely so you could customize your equipment to your heart's content. In this video I will talk about my favorite items I found so far in Pathfinder and would recommend to everyone to use them, as in my opinion at least, they are the most powerful items. Before we start, our usual question of the day is, which mythic path did you choose for your first playthrough, and why? Let us know in the comment section. The first item I will be talking about in this video is none other than the Hammer of Masterpiece that you might have seen in multiple of my build videos. So why do I like this item? While this hammer in itself is not very powerful, and chances are that you're not going to be using light hammers as one of your weapon focus abilities, but its special ability is extraordinary. And you don't have to attack with this hammer, you just need to equip it and use it every single time you're buffing your characters. What does it do? Uh, apart from its bonus damage against enemies that do have multiple accessories equipped, which is frankly quite useless, most enemies won't have accessory slots, I mean amulets or rings equipped, um, so that's not going to do too much damage. Uh, they would be getting additional force damage per accessory, which is 1d, uh, 20 force damage if they only have 1, 2d, 10 if they have 2, and 3d, 10 if they have 3. Uh, well, that's not bad. Most enemies don't have accessory slots. So why is this hammer so good? It is the second section of this weapon. The wielder of the slide hammer can three times per day use the weapon's ability to support themselves or allies. If the target has all three slots equipped, they gain plus three circumstance bonus to attack and damage rolls for an hour. If the target has two out of three slots equipped, they gain plus two circumstance bonus to attack and damage rolls for an hour. As well as plus one additional attack per round for an hour. If the target has only one out of three slots equipped, they gain plus one circumstance bonus to attack and damage rolls as well as plus two additional attacks per round for an hour. However, equipping or removing amulets or rings also removes the bonus. Keep in mind that this additional attack per round that you do get is at your full attack bonus. So it's at your full base attack bonus and it works with every character. Not only that, but this plus one hour that you get this buff for does work with Enduring Spell's mythic ability and can last 24 hours. You can use this hammer three times per day, and I'm going to use my Kinetic Knight uh, and my Sila Two-Ended Warrior as an example. I use this hammer now just on Soul You can see I use a Bardish with him, so it doesn't even matter. I just, when I'm buffing, I select the hammer, and you do get an ability that you can use three times. On my main character, uh, I have to make sure that the characters I want to use only wear one accessory, so an amulet or a ring. And you cannot use the others. With my main character, I am using Valexia's magnifying amulet for natural armor and a plus two bonus to my highest current ability score. So that is my chosen uh, item. And with my Sila, it is the all-round defense ring, but it doesn't matter. So I made sure that these characters only have one accessory slot equipped. Now, my Sila has four attacks right now without haste, and, and I haven't really buffed myself. And my Kinetic Knight has three. And if I do use the hammer on them, Hammer of Masterpiece is now enabled. It is on them for 24 hours. And let's check their attacks. Now my Kinetic Knight deals five attacks per round, three attacks at maximum base attack bonus. And my 
uh, Two-Handed Fighter is doing three attacks at maximum base attack bonus and three additional attacks. That's six attacks per round. And with haste, that's an additional plus one, etc., etc. But you get the meaning of it. This item is extremely, extremely strong for any martial based uh, build. And it's really, in my opinion, one of the most OP items in the whole game. And there's no playthrough where I just don't use it. It's just so powerful. The second item that I would like to talk about is for spellcasters. And namely, you might have guessed it already, but it is the Grandmaster's Rod. Why is it so powerful? It is a meta magic rod and a very special one at that, as this rod grants its wielder the ability to make up to three spells they cast per day infused with the primal magical essence. Those spells are maximized and empowered as though using maximize spell and empower spell feats. And drum rolls, it ignores spell resistance and magic immunity of the target. Why is this so powerful? Well, not only it is using two meta magic effects on your spells and ignores spell resistance, but it ignores complete magic immunity of targets. This also includes, uh, which I didn't believe first, but it does include all innate resistances of enemies. So if a Vescovore is immune to fear effects or a boss is immune to fear effects or uh, mind affecting effects or anything, the Grandmaster Rod does bypass it and thus any spell you have, or in this case, if you have weird, it's going to bypass all resistances, all immunities, and you will be able to try your luck with your CC spells or whatever spell you want to use with your spellcaster. For example, let's take a look at this fight uh, against the Vescovor Swarms, Hideous Vescovor Swarms, and... Um, this Nightcrawler. So these enemies inherently are immune to fear effects, compulsion, mind effective effects, and various other effects, uh, which naturally means that Nanio's spells, most of illusion spells, should not work on them, correct? Well, let us test how it, uh, how it works then. We enable our Grandmaster's Rod, and in that case, if I cast Weird, it should not work on them, correct? But it does bypass all spell resistances and immunities. And let's see what happens. Oh, it did kill most of them. Uh, only the Desolating Nightcrawler have uh, bypassed it because they rolled exactly 40. Oh, what? how lucky! That's in, that's insane. It actually rolled exactly 40, and it did the uh, the saving throw. But as you could see, the Vescovores, which are supposed to be immune to it, uh, got completely annihilated, and, and they're gone. Well, those are my two most overpowered and I think best items in the game. I just really can't do any playthrough without them. What are your best items in the game and your favorite items in the game? Let me know. There are various weapons that we could talk about. So let me know what yours are. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.